you. Yo, bro, it's OHM. We back again with another journey in the life. We are the second week. Day eight was creation. Today, day nine is creativity of thought. And it begins. Man is one with the original cause of all. This is the reason for the creative power of man's thought. It is not so much a gift of the spirit as it is the inevitable nature of necessity. There are not two originators, there is only one. The universal side of man is God. The universal I am is the abstract essence of the individualized I. Man's thought is creative, not because he wills it to be so, but because it is the will of the universe, the nature of being. There is no creation about, I'm sorry, there is no question about the creativeness of thought. The only question is, how are we going to use this creative agency within us? Shall we use it consciously and constructively and for a definite purpose? Or shall we use it unconsciously and more or less destructively merely because we do not understand it? The science of mind is the answer to this question. If any thought is creative, it must follow that all thought is creative. The law of mind is exact, not capricious. However, since man's belief is his use of the law, it must follow that the greater the conviction, the more power his word will have. Therefore, constructive prayer, treatment, or meditation is more powerful than mere idle words. Thoughts are literally things. They do not operate upon things. The universe in which we live is a system of intelligence governed by law, which operates mechanically, always producing an inevitable result. Thought creates all the conditions we experience somewhere along the line, but the thinker creates his thoughts. There are scientific gardeners when, oh, we are scientific gardeners when we have learned that seed time and harvest time are independent of any existing circumstances whatsoever. The garden of God is ever fertile, ever creative, ever productive, and our own thought, will, and imagination scatter the seeds of our planting in its creative soil. Nothing can hinder the universe but ourselves. And that's page 25. Uh, now I can say for certain what I saw What do today. you think unidentified means anyway? Here's my new recipe for tea is out of this world But you don't see green beans every day As why I don't believe they speak the king As you were good I sir I didn't see a thing Won't be funny from today Just let it ring The very idea What would people think? Now I can say for certain what I saw today What do you today. think unidentified means anyway? Here's my new recipe for tea is out of this world But you don't see green beans every day Unless you have crop circles in your head Clear they're more of an off purple than a gray You should bring more of your off worlders to the play You didn't know of the bond where you stay Western civilization is real deep on that mechanical paradigm, but that's a method of understanding. And I'm American, I speak English, uh, so like I understand it and it's helpful to me in particular. But we on the internet where everybody ain't the same. So like but uh in spiritual matters, a lot of people who like don't get into advanced sciences sciences they hear people speak about spiritual manners in a mechanical way and it's like a turn off. But like people who are advanced in like sciences and in math and in physics and theoretical sciences and abstract concepts, when the West gets into abstract concepts and like irrational concepts, it's all like mathematical stuff. So their background, the thoughts in their head, uh, kind of explain <laughs> Well, the thoughts in their head account for all the unaccounted for things in that uh, metaphor. I'm trying to describe something that is uh, intangible and beyond existence. That is like a source of existence at the same time. Like using procedural language to describe that gets confusing for people who don't get real busy in that other stuff. But even so, like if you can, if you read about. Uh, like the literature around physics, not so not just like lists of formulas and explanations, but like people who do that and their attempts to uh, express these concepts that they've proven or theorized or discovered, what have you, 
all that those are all different things but you know they'd be theorizing stuff proving stuff discovering stuff postulating stuff and like we and and looking to ways to express that they usually get to like start reusing spiritual narratives because those are the first like logical narratives about uh things that are beyond a mechanical paradigm but now we're kind of coming full circle bringing them things back together again with shit like quantum computers and blah 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 we talked about that quantum theory coming from max planck max planck studying cavity radiation developing the idea of the black body uh you know but whatever creative thoughts <laughs> thanks